I'm gonna just wait on the beat to drop. Yeah. Midas. I'm, I'm back, back on the scene. Oh. My apologies if you miss me. So fresh, so clean. Still running this marathon what without Nipsey. Hustling, you know I got it. Make your moves, they don't know nothing about it. You sideline, you spectate. Hot victory lap and I checkmate. Uh. And I'm getting checks. You getting checks mixed in cereal. Just say my name uh. while I'm up the game. I got the best, best flicks in stereo. What's up? I be painting pictures like artwork. I'm Master P of these masterpieces. Trying to see how these charts work. <laughs> so I flood the streets until I re up. Beat, get beat up. I'm like a microwave when, when I heat up. up. When I heat you better lay low, cause the flow is vicious. Duck the sauce at any cost. You being a boss is so suspicious. All this food for thought, you do the dishes. Yes. And you got a part of me, I'm so ambitious. But I never meant to do you wrong. I apologize if I took too long. I was working on your new favorite song. I'm sorry if I took too long for me to get back to you later, baby. I've been working on your favorite song, you know it's driving me crazy, 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 got the keys to the city, so everything I do is Yeah, yeah, just a little warm up, a little teaser, a little teaser. Greeting salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome What's to that? another installment of the No Shortcut Show with Midas and Fame. We're glad to be back this Tuesday. We took a little break, a little brief hiatus last Tuesday. Hey, mom, I love you. Come on in. Mom is here. Get you Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's five o'clock somewhere. And uh, <laughs> for our guest today, it's pretty close to that. <laughs> we got Miss the uh, legendary Miss Rhonda Badiki and is joining us. Thank you from from LA. Thank you so much for joining us today. Oh wow! Let's see who else is here. The, uh, early, it's the, early out there. Yeah, it's uh, it's Good what morning. nine nine out there. Yeah, so we have some early, some mid, and some later in the day participants go, uh, <laughs> here with us today. For we sure. got none other than our statesman of the No Shortcuts community, Mr. Juan Velasquez is here. Yeah, Juan. Come on yeah, in, Juan. guys. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. And as before we proceed, feel free to share this on your own uh, individual timelines, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, the more the merrier. You know, and, and shout out to everybody joining us on Facebook. Shout out to everybody that's joining us on YouTube. Robin Barbie and the Barbs is here. Yeah, uh, if, yeah. and shout out to our uh, Spotify fam as well as the uh, Apple Music fam. Thank y'all for being here today. Melissa McLean is here, back home in Sherrod, South Carolina. Yeah, come on in, guys. We'll shout you out right quick. We know it is lunchtime here. It's breakfast time for Rhonda. And for our <laughs> guest over in the UK today, it's probably close, close to, to supper time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we we got a lot of time zones covered today, huh? Yes, across yeah, the feeling pond. Great about it. She's across, across the pond. The, across <laughs> the pond. And what's so cool is, uh, you know, we met when I went across the up, across the pond, and the following we year did. she had a chance to, to come across the pond and hang out over here with us as well. So we're excited today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for being here. What's up, famous? What's the what's, up, what's the man? word? I haven't seen you in a couple of weeks. Yeah, man, it's been uh, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a good time. We've been yeah, busy. Yeah, a time was had. A time was had. It, it's been a uh, wedding, wedding central, man. It's been wedding central, yeah. and yeah. Uh, lot, lots of moves being made. So it's been a good time, man. We're back in business, you know. The season has begun. Yeah, the so, pollen is in the air. Yeah, so we had a couple, uh, <laughs> a couple weddings down in Charleston or on Johns Island, I should say. South Carolina oh, yeah. for the past couple of weeks, uh -huh. and then 
Yeah, we had to miss last Tuesday, man. After everything that was going on, then we had a lot of stuff to catch up on last Tuesday. And um, my wife and I had some errands to run early in the day, and it was gonna run. It was gonna run overtime where I, I didn't yeah. feel like we were gonna be back in time. But uh, oh. we're here now. Oh. We totally here, yeah. understandable. And you have to, you know, sometimes, you know, life things that, you know, concerning life precede, you know, yeah. certain things. It's all about prioritization, which is yeah. something else that we've spoken about here at uh, No Shortcuts, you know, yeah, No Shortcuts yeah. with Midas and Fame, you know. Absolutely. So, and shout uh, out to Juan, shout out to Juan Velasquez, because uh, we've been working on some pre production for his show that'll be coming out here in uh -huh. the next uh, couple months the, uh, the Travel Pod. And we've been working on some things with him, getting that, getting yeah. that ready to blast off. Uh, I think at the first yeah. of May he's talking about. So, uh, okay. okay, look out for that. And, and look out for that. Yeah, and the season of traveling is about to be upon us. Uh, yeah. Former guest Miss Laurie Blasco. What's up, she Laurie? She was just on a Happy couple Tuesday. of weeks ago. Happy Tuesday. For us. It's going up on a Tuesday. Shout out to former James. guest, member of the community, James F. Masters. Up, giving you all your audio and visual needs, ladies and gentlemen. Laurie's a a, a, a fantastic wedding. Uh, she doesn't she like planner. planner. She likes coordinator. See, I listened to her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you were listening to in the interview. I'm a great listener. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think yeah, it was the yeah. opposite, though. I thought she liked planner but didn't like coordinator. Mm, I, think, I think she didn't like planner. We got to play some bet on it, ladies and know. gentlemen. Let us know which one it was. You didn't like coordinator or you didn't like planner. I thought it was the I think opposite. she didn't like planner. <laughs> yeah. you know, James but, uh, is working gonna... while he's watching. We appreciate that, James. Thank you, you James. Hey, thank you, guys. All you guys such faithful members of our community, man. We appreciate you so much. Yeah. I'm working through this, so if I am quiet... That's yeah. why I have a That's deadline, cool. but also, hey man, hey, thank That's you so cool. much for your, for balancing us and making us a half of your priority. We for thank sure. you so much. And Midas owes me five dollars because Lori likes planner. She you like planner like, better than she does not wait a like minute. Wait, well, yeah. wait, wait, you gotta wait. Watch the, you got to watch it back again now. You got to watch the episode. What? <laughs> okay, my bad, Lori. I, listen, I, I, and I do watch them back. I watch them all back. Believe yeah. it or not, ladies and gentlemen, I watch them all back. I clip it up and I try yeah. to share, you know, with you guys or whatever. Okay, Laurie, I apologize. You don't like coordinator. You like planner. She is an event <laughs> planner for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. But I, I at least remembered there was a discrepancy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was one, one of the two she didn't like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. yeah, no doubt, man. Oh, yeah, no she doubt. said it's all good. It's all sure. good. So, yeah, Indeed. man, that was my week. We've been working a lot on this wedding stuff. I actually was supposed to have one this Saturday. And I just found out yesterday that I don't have a wedding this Saturday. Oh, okay. And it was partially, okay. partially my fault, too. I hadn't heard from her in a while. And she uh, says that she told me back in August that it was canceled. But I don't okay. I don't remember ever getting that message. But I noticed how yeah. she hadn't been responding to any of my messages. Yeah. Planning sessions. I hadn't got anything back. The final payment was due. I hadn't heard anything, right? So I reached yeah. out yesterday. I'm like, yo, what's good? She's like, yeah, I, I, I thought I emailed you back in August and told you we canceled that. I was like, oh. Yeah, that, that, that good old, I thought I emailed you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, case, of the, case of cold feet, perhaps. Yeah, I don't think I got that email, <laughs> but it's all good. Yeah. I mean, hey. it was uh, just another free weekend coming up this Saturday, so I will cherish cherish that moment and spend some time with the family instead. Indeed, so, man. And no that's, harm, that's how we no harm. Yeah, no harm, no foul. You know, yeah. that's how it goes sometimes. You know, my, my last couple, of, I can't remember since the last time we we got together what I did, but last week I uh, I had on the uh, agenda the uh, chairman of the board and the executives. We were in uh, Clayton, North Carolina. I actually got yeah. my, my festival. You got to love playing the festivals when they when the hospitality staff gives you the, the free T-shirts to the band. Yeah. You know, but yeah, so we were at the uh, <laughs> at the Oyster Roast Festival, man, and it was uh, we were on the a baseball field out there. It was cool though. It was nice and it was a nice day. Dust was in the air, and also the mm -hmm. aroma of Old Bay seasoning for these oysters. Nice. You know, and, and they had a whole separate. I think if you wanted to do the all you could eat oysters, there was a uh, like a, a entry fee or admission to do that. And there was a whole section of the ball field for that. It looked like the Golden Corral buffet on a Sunday on the half of the field, you know? Yeah. But food, like other oysters? food trucks were there. I'm sorry? Do you like oysters? Uh, if they come with a seafood platter. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I, I mean? If I, I order... ever had them. 
Yeah, yeah. The the texture is a little a little different for me. Yeah. I'm you know I can't speak for everyone, but I won't just order oysters. But if they yeah. if I'm ordering like if it's a, already uh, there, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll go ahead and eat a few of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever had any oysters. Before. I think Rhonda likes oysters. She oysters. said, "Yeah, I'm okay, okay." Rhonda yeah. likes oysters. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. I That's think right. I think people put, put a little uh, hot sauce on them, a little Texas Pete or something. If you're into a little spice, you know. Yeah. And who else is ball. checking in with us talk to us yeah who let us know here? who's here before we proceed yeah yeah again here, Rhonda's here mm-hmm. if you can hit that link right there ecam.live slash connect that way when you watch we can see your actual name instead of yes. saying facebook user where it says right there with raw with tabasco and lemon <laughs> so yeah like that's ronda voices. that's ronda right there yeah if yeah. you have time ronda if you could just hit that link so we can associate your comment uh with your name and again shout out to everybody joining us on facebook youtube twitch yeah. spotify uh and what else oh shout out to miss gail kimbro okay faithful no supporter of the chairman of the board and what am I missing? Music. Yeah. Whether you're watching live or catching the replay. We thank you so much as I freeze here. It's all right. It'll catch back. up, huh? <laughs> It'll catch up. It'll catch up. Hey, man, tell them about our guest yeah, today. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, back in 2018, the chairman of the board had the opportunity to go over to the UK for two weeks and do a series of shows over in the UK. And before we left, uh, someone reached out to me and said, hey, just wanted to introduce myself, you know, uh, through Facebook and welcome you guys, let you know we're looking forward to having you over here and whatnot. And this certain person was also, oh, uh, there goes Ken joining us today. Mr. Ken band Knox, leader of the Band leader of the legendary chairman of the board is in the house. So we, as we proceeded to go take our trip to the UK, I guess reached out, man, just to introduce herself. And, you know, immediately I felt like, okay, it felt a little better about the trip going that far from home. It was like, okay, uh, you know, being away from home, at least I know somebody will have my back over there that is mm -hmm. from there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, which was a very kind gesture. And as we uh, went over uh, to do our series of shows, um, our guest was in the, the band that was opening for us. And they also were uh, part of putting the whole package together uh Sweet. the signatures band northern soul band over there she's in the horn section she plays saxophone uh and so they opened for us and then we also uh use their horn section as well as the drummer and lead guitarist from over there man so uh yeah without any further ado she's an incredible saxophonist ladies and gentlemen she sings as well and she plays a little piano i told her i was going to mention that today <laughs> even though she yeah. presents herself primarily as a saxophonist Ladies and gentlemen, put some applause in the chat. Make some noise if you can while you're at work in your cubicle. Make some noise at home for none other than Miss Ellie Warren Wright, all the way from the UK. All the way from the UK. Yeah. Hello. Thank you for joining and, us, Ellie. And Ellie has been to the States, too. So we get, we'll get into all of that in a little while. So we got a lot to cover. But it's it's interesting. Even culturally, you know, we want to touch on some things like that. But Ellie, first and foremost, thank you so much for joining us today right here at No Shortcuts. Welcome. It's my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know you were you were telling me prior to this is your first time having the opportunity to just showcase yourself without an entire band on a platform like this. So uh, yeah, we, oh, yeah, we're glad we're glad we could provide our platform for you to do so and give you some roses and you know get our audience a little bit more familiar with you. You're a member in our No Shortcuts community as well, rightfully so. And we want to yeah. give you your flowers all the way 13 hours away across the pond. Wow. <laughs> thank you so much. It's a real honor and a pleasure to be here. So, and thanks for the invitation. Yeah, Lovely. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Now, we normally like to ask our guests before we get into the, the meat and potatoes of it all. Tell us a little bit about where you were born and raised and your childhood, your early life. Ian, what's up? <laughs> what up, Ian? That's Big a bass up. player. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Uh, yeah. So, as you can probably tell from my accent, I'm British. <laughs> so yes. I was born over here in a city mm -hmm. called Leicester, which is in the right in the centre of the country. 
in the Midlands. Mm. Um, I grew up in, in rural Leicestershire. Mum um, and dad were teachers and okay. um, they were, whilst not musicians as such, they always listened to music. My mum was always singing, you know, and they had impressive vinyl collections, both of them, yeah. that I used to, you know, like to look through and mess around with when I was younger. And they always encouraged me and my sister with um, not just music, but, you know, our interests when we were younger. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I, and, I, and Go ahead, I'm sorry, proceed. <laughs> Yeah, I was just particularly latched on to, to the music side of things myself. Yeah, and, um, yeah. Yeah, they put me through piano lessons when I was, I think I was six when I started piano lessons. Really? Wow, wow. Yeah. So were, were there any other interests besides music that you had at a at an early age? Or was it, or did everything kind of revolve around music, singing, For listening me. to record? Yeah. Yeah. For me, in my life, that was that was my thing. That's always been mm -hmm. my thing. Yeah. Throughout my school years, and my adult life, I've always done something musical. Um. You know, there's there's only been slight exceptions to the rule. Say, you know, when my my children were babies, uh, so I've had short yeah. windows of time where I've not not actively participated. But you know, for the most part, I've always been involved right through school and through adult life in various in, in something i find actually if i'm not doing something music if i'm not involved with something um mm. it, it i kind of get down a little bit i think a lot of music folks are like that yeah. like, i need to be doing something you know yeah it's something to to exercise those those creative juices that we get as exactly. musicians whether it be uh writing performing it's it's like you have to you have to do something you know uh mm -hmm. and it's therapeutic i feel it's very therapeutic mm -hmm. to to exercise yeah, that yeah so what yeah, type now, of music what type of music were your parents listening to when you that you remember oh gosh At also so my age. mom my mum's actually french so she used to listen to a lot of uh, french music from the 60s and 70s but she also liked elvis and my dad mm. my dad liked kate bush and classical music so we mm. had a, a we had a real mixture of all kinds of things wow. as a youngster and um you know <laughs> i remember uh my mum washing my hair as a kid and singing an opera song and teaching me wow. it, you know and things wow. like that it's you know so yeah, they, they've always encouraged us with this yeah so you had no you had no choice but to be bitten by the the musical <laughs> bug right like when you you're surrounded to it by it surrounded by it and you have access to instruments it's like you you almost that's the path you end up kind of going down so that's that's totally that's right and totally it's only ever been a blessing in my life i've made some of some of my best friends through music i've had some of my most wonderful experiences through music it's just been a real a real positive in my life. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And shout out to Henry and George, your sons as well, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so yes, what did they right. say? Oh, does that? Yeah. <laughs> shout out to well, your they're boys. They're not so little now. 11 yeah, and 14. Yeah, they're growing. <laughs> wow, they're growing. Yeah, so music was it. No, no baby dolls, no uh, being in the oh. kitchen cook, cooking. <laughs> You know, what maybe else do girls do? <laughs> in those things maybe, but you know, not so much. Yeah, I was always, um, you know, like, so with school, it was things like the orchestra or choir. And with uh -huh. uh, outside clubs, I like joined the scouts and they had like a marching band. So okay. we so were even trying music to emulate. Music. Yeah, we're trying to emulate those US show bands that you have in the high schools that yeah. are just so mm -hmm. amazing, you know, with all the formation yes. and stuff. Yeah, we would uh, kind of compete at uh, amateur level in the UK doing that. Okay, okay. Now, how how old were you when you how old were you when you started when you first picked up the saxophone? And it was there something specifically that made you interested in that in that instrument in general? Well, I I guess so. So I, I had clarinet lessons at school, and I mm. knew that sax and clarinet were kind of of the same family if you were and they had mm. some similarities and really i wanted a saxophone <laughs> but yeah. they were had to wait. slightly more expensive <laughs> at the time and also the clarinet was kind of given to me by the school you know and okay. my mom and dad were a bit like you know we're not getting your saxophone just yet <laughs> right, right. I, that's a heart, bigger investment I, I, yeah exactly <laughs> um, 
but you know I, I held out because I always really wanted to to play it and through the marching band I had the opportunity to try one when we were invited to join forces with another band that had a saxophone section so okay. I, that was the first time I really had a go and I thought mm-hmm. hey I can do this it's it's not dissimilar to the clarinet it's like you know um it there's some transferable skills going on there so right you know and um, mm-hmm. that was my first sort of experience with it and uh it went it went from there so when I got older and I got my first job mm-hmm. I with my first paycheck I bought a beaten up old sax on eBay for my nice. and that was my first own sax yeah. you know? mm. very and nice so you had to yeah, you ended up investing in yourself, like so. Your your parents, which I could understand, like you know, they they your parents probably want to say, well, let's start with this and see if you stick with it, and then yeah. you know we can yeah. see about this. But it seems you know, that by the time me through all the qualifications and the grades, and, you know, connected <laughs> to a system at the time, <laughs> so yeah. they were like, yeah, yeah they wanted yeah, me my to parents, not my parents play stood, off. My parents did that too. My mom, she didn't. She didn't buy my first my my DJ equipment either. I had to put them on layaway. To make <laughs> oh, the layaway plan. Yeah, I had them things on layaway. It was back in the late eighties, you know. I had them turntables yeah. on layaway, and then I had to stuff mm. them in the back of her car. She had a small like uh, I think at the time she had a small Chevy Chevette. I had to stuff all my stuff in the back of her car Man. once I got it off layaway. I had to buy it that, myself too. Ellie. <laughs> that sounds like a scene from House Party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from House Party the where they were loaded up. Yeah. To be fair to them, they, they were good to me in that way. You know, they had already supported me a lot with all the, these piano lessons, which was my foundation, which is where I learned to read music and stuff. You know, they they did invest in me, in my yeah, talent absolutely. in that way. I just didn't want to take it too far with them. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, yeah. They're just, they're just <laughs> being parents, being wise, which I understand too now that, you know, now that I have a son, it's like you want to just – before you make the big investment, you just let me see what how you're gonna do with this. Right. Before right. you know, yeah. So yeah. that that's that's wisdom, I believe. Mm-hmm. That's wisdom. So you were how old when you bought that sax? I know you said you bought it with your own money. You were working at what age was, so that? That, was that? That was uh, I was probably about 22, 23. So I know I'm getting a bit older by this point, but I'd been through mm-hmm. uni and. And, and things like that involved in other musical kind of things like choirs and whatnot. Yeah. That was the first time that I kind of owned my own one. So my first job mm. after I graduated, I got I got to I got the saxophone. <laughs> yeah, and there's another saxophone player in in the uh, comments. Not only is Ken Knox our uh, right. band leader of the chairman of the board, but he's an okay. extremely talented saxophonist as well. So he's here. Uh, supporting today, so it's a pleasure Mr. to have, Summer. have him. Yeah, yeah, uh, famous cause of Mr. Summer. Apparently, <laughs> we, we stay very busy over the summertime, yeah. huh? For sure. <laughs> For sure. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, what was your what was your your first um, maybe your first gig? Do you do you recall what your first gig might have been? I do actually, uh, and I was really really nervous. So it was. Um, some, somebody had invited me to an open mic night, like a jam uh-huh. night. You know, I've never done yeah, that yeah. kind of thing before. Yeah. I can. <laughs> and um, I went along and I had a great time. I loved it. And uh, from that, I had an invitation to... Uh, so um, there was a, a lady that did a singer-sax duo and her saxophonist was not well. And she asked me if I would stand in. Wow. And um, I, I, at that point, I'd never done anything like that. And I was like, oh, mm-hmm. oh God, I don't know. You know, but I said I would. And I ch- kind of challenged myself. I said I would. Absolutely. And I practiced. And I did it. And I, I just remember the nerves. It, was, it was, wasn't was a particularly big venue. It was just like mm-hmm. a kind of social club place. It was, um, yeah. you know, there, there were a few people there, but it wasn't. We're not talking stadiums or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, Um, of course. course. I remember the nerves. I remember physically shaking while I was playing and and, and inwardly questioning myself all the time. Like, oh, my God, is this awful? What does she think? Is this terrible? How how am I doing? Uh (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's a process, isn't it? You have to kind of take that leap, even if it's a small one, in the first place to, to, to keep. 
taking other yeah. leaps, you know, as time uh, goes yeah. on. So it seems to me that you you were able to come across that opportunity by going to the jam session. So apparently you were you were networking and being in the mix, meeting other musicians, vocalists, and then when an opportunity arose where they needed uh, someone to fill in, you were you were available. That's right, yeah. And there's yeah. a lot to be said for these kind of events. I still attend jam nights and open mic nights regularly now, and I yeah. love doing it because you meet so many people, like like minded people, and you get your name mentioned, and you get to mention other people's names, and just yeah. pick each other up, support each other, promote each other. It's networking. It's, it's absolutely, it's and that and, and that fun. works. Yeah, and I was just going to say that works no matter the industry that you may, you know, that you may want to get into. You know, it doesn't have to be music per se, ladies and gentlemen, but whatever uh, your passion or your dream is for yourself, (laughs) find a way to get in the mix around some other people who are already doing those sort of things. And uh, uh, and as they say, in order to stay warm, you got to stay close to the fire, (laughs) you know, so (laughs) so opportunities will will come, you know, just by being in in the mix. James Brown said, uh, stay on the scene. (laughs) (laughs) That's a very good one. Yeah, well, if you're watching our name, and, hopefully that'll get you in somewhere. I don't know where that's going to get you. Mentioning my yeah. name, famous. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, no short uh, code, no shortcuts. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Rhonda, and and yeah. for you guys that don't know, Rhonda has uh, many clients in the music industry. Um, she handles publishing and and royalties and things like that. She makes sure that you know, even from the Motown days, I got to shout everybody out right quick from the Motown days up until present so it's a pleasure to have her here with us as well you know you guys are so faithful we appreciate you we appreciate you Absolutely. yeah so we're going to proceed famous did you have anything that you no, want to no, keep going keep going yeah so <laughs> after after your first gig did that how how um how did you find your your or was was the signatures your first outfit that you were with or was there other outfits before um, it was the, I, it was the first band that I was with for a long time. So before yeah. that, I had I covered for other people, mm-hmm. you know, and, and spent brief times involved with bands. But that was the first band that I, I was with them for, I think, four years. And, okay. Um, yeah, I had some great times with that band. Yeah, and as I said in the at the beginning of the show, before we went over to the UK, you know, just you having the kind gesture to to just send a hello and hey, I'm looking forward, you know, to to having you guys over, looking forward to playing music with you. That made me feel a lot better about the trip, honestly. Yeah, you know, because no, I've never been that excited at the time as well. It was super exciting for everyone. Yeah, because I've never been experience. that far from home. <laughs> yeah, I said I've never, I've never been that far from home, you know, to play some music for for a couple of weeks, and that you know, again, just having someone extend the extend a hand and, and a hello and say, hey, you know, you know, just hi, right, well, welcome, welcome to the UK. Looking forward to having you guys over here. That was a that was a great gesture. What I do want to talk about is some of the real quick, some of the cultural differences in and things like that because yeah before before we left i had to get this socket this uh converter <laughs> socket oh, <laughs> to okay, plug okay, into okay. the wall <laughs> okay. where i could plug up you know my things oh, what else so did i funny. have to do I've i had, had to convert some conversations with you guys since since knowing and becoming friends with you guys that yeah the way we pronounce things, the certain words oh, that we use, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, you got to get my way of speaking and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was that part alone was like uh, worth it. Hey, mom, my mom said hi. Hi, friend. <laughs> hey. Hello. Yeah, so that part was, alone was very, in- thank you, thank you. Crossing the street. Now, you guys, if I'm not mistaken, you drive on the left, the left side of the road, right? And the steering, um, the steering wheel, and the vehicles on the right hand side. That's yeah. right. That's right. And when I came to the states, Ken Knox, he allowed me to briefly try driving a car on the right. A I didn't even want to try it. In a safe area. <laughs> yeah. Very safe area. Hi, Ken. Uh, it was, <laughs> you know, quiet. There was no one around, and uh, it was it was strange. Also, we drive stick shift cars a lot of the time um whereas you guys are largely automatic aren't you mm-hmm. so yeah it was a uh, lots of differences there but lots of lots of commonalities as well <laughs> yeah and and 
I noticed you guys have lots of roundabouts there. <laughs> There's lots oh, yeah. of roundabouts. We love those. And, <laughs> and, and the roads felt <laughs> narrow. The roads felt narrow to me. I didn't do any driving. We had a, someone that handled all of the driving and everything. When I'm just looking, <laughs> the, the roads <laughs> seemed very, very narrow to me. Yeah, you know, it's like everything, it was... everything here is slightly smaller, including houses, all sorts. I mean, your roads, your homes, they all seem huge to us. <laughs> yeah, really. Yeah. That's yeah, very so, and then, yeah. Yeah. And, and that's cool that you had a chance to come over here and kind of to the States and you had a chance to compare as well. I, I do remember break, we, for breakfast, we were being served like uh, beans. Uh, yes. <laughs> there was like some mushrooms, wait, maybe wait, a little wait, sausage. What? Wait, what? Yeah, beans, beans for, for breakfast. breakfast. Yeah, okay. yeah it's very <laughs> popular part of the uh, fried English breakfast. That is, mm. and um, yeah, it's an integral part of your breakfast in the UK. But uh, yeah. I'm not sure what what all our American friends would make of that. But you know, yeah. how did you yeah. find it? Why did you like it? Um, I I didn't really do the beans in the morning. If I I think if I did the beans in the morning, the rest of the day would be bad. You know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what this I mean? What I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, but um, what else? There was eggs, like your traditional um UK breakfast. There's some eggs. Uh, I, I remember some mushrooms, right? Like some maybe sautéed mushrooms, uh, maybe a little sausage or bacon or what have you. And was there some toast? Oh, I would have thought so. And, and definitely tea or coffee, but tea. probably leaning more towards tea. I've actually yeah. got a cup of tea at the moment. Ah, there you go. And you guys put milk in your tea. We do. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We're quite, I tr- quite strict yeah. about our tea-making procedure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's two of me. I am now Midas and uh, DJ Famous. I think he had to run handle oh, wow. something right quick. But um, what what else was I going to say? Yeah, so that that was like a, a few things that I noticed that were a little a little different. But I tried to participate in as much as much of the culture while I was there as 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 I could, you, you know, to everything. to make. Yeah, all three yourselves into it, and we, you know, we had our laughs while we were sort of kind of oh, explaining a, what some words we meant. A, and yeah, words we had a great. <laughs> Yeah, and we had a great time. And I think bangers, bangers, bangers and, mash, and mash, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly yeah. 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 So, um, and and I I was just going to say and I remember you told me Ellie that you picked up the keyboards that I played for those 2 weeks. You you went and picked those keyboards up for me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'd forgotten I, about yeah. that. Yeah, yeah see? Yeah. I think we need you. You'd requested a specific um, yeah type the motif of- series. The yeah, I think That's the right. one one you guys got for me was the eighty eight key one, and you were saying it barely fit into your <laughs> it barely it was fit really, into your really big. I remember that. And we, yeah. <laughs> we went to the opener. I so remember I had dropping a- your message saying we got it all eighty eight yeah. keys of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and shout out, shout out to Ken for making that, sending that request as well. I had a Yamaha uh, ES eight and then a Yamaha XF seven while I was over there. So and they and they set my stuff up there. They spoiled me. They set my stuff wow. up for me every night. I uh, broke it down. I was totally spoiled. I didn't know how to act when I got back over here. That's it. I'm <laughs> going. I'm going. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, DJ. famous. I'm sorry. They're going to give me the Royal DJ treatment over there. That's there you go. go. There tell you me. go. I want to get set up like that. Just have to tell them what I want. And mm-hmm. set it up. My question, Ellie, was about uh, the music differences. Because I, I, from what I've seen um, in the UK, you all have a, a better appreciation yeah. for the classics. You know, and, you know, the Motown era and like, you know, what, what I would call like real music. Versus Which is like, that Northern Soul. Yeah, Northern Soul, That's what they yeah, especially could, like yeah, soul Northern music, Soul's. versus over here, the younger, and when I say younger, I mean 30 and thirty and below, they really have no, they don't have much of an appreciation for like soul music, even older rock music. It's just everything is current, 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 where it feels yeah. like in the UK, you have an appreciation for what came before. 
I would like to think so, certainly. And I, I'm never sure if I'm speaking from a, a biased perspective or not, because I've always involved myself with, with mm. you know, music and things. Yeah. I do get the impression that it's, you know, it's very, uh, it's a very well-loved genre and, and encouraged. And, and, and there does seem to be quite a young following for, you know, like the Northern Stole Sart, the Northern Soul mm -hmm. style, and mm -hmm. there are increasingly younger members who are getting really passionate about this kind of music, you know, mm -hmm. and um, and that's a great thing. And I, I know that I certainly I've I try to encourage it with my children. They're always going to have their own taste, which you want yeah. to encourage. Of course, you do. I don't always like what my teenager has on in his room, but you know, <laughs> at the same time, he is also exposed to what I listen to regularly yeah. as well, and he's absorbing mm -hmm. that. And he may not like it right now, but when he's older, you know, same as with me. And like, yeah. I don't think I was too keen on Dad's Kate Bush at the time, but yeah. now if it comes on. You know, and I'm like, oh, I love this song. You know, and it's it, it you know, it's memories. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. It hey, did you see? Good times. Did you see Ken's comment just now? He says, I was impressed with Ellie at our first rehearsal when she had to teach the trombonist and trumpeter <laughs> the parts. You get me in trouble. Thank you, Ken. That's lovely. <laughs> no, but somebody has to take the lead sometimes, right? If you, if I can help you, and you're struggling. If I can help you, that, that's what rehearsal is about, really. You know what I mean? Like, because we can't stay yeah. here all day. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> we we go through it sometimes ourselves. And and you know what? You have to you have to prepare musicians. Take take note to this. Don't wait to rehearsal to learn the material. Learn the material at home. Go to rehearsal to work the kinks out. Mm -hmm. Don't go to rehearsal to learn the song. Work on the music at home. Please. Then when you get to rehearsal work the kinks out we don't have to stay there all day but if we at rehearsal and you know a, a, a fellow bandmate is struggling that's you did the right thing that's what you're supposed to do if mm -hmm. i can help you but let me help you and so we can go out and get out of here and get some dinner and go to bed on time <laughs> right Rhonda? <laughs> yeah that's that's how professionals are supposed to do it so if any musicians watching this live on the replay learn the material at home go to rehearsal to work out the little kinks and the arrangement portion you know, look at look at Ken. Look at Ken. But Ellie, st you stepped in and took a leadership <laughs> role, being uh, a, a horn player, right, Cheryl? That's your new bandmate right there, that's right? My, yeah, she's yeah, my yeah, yeah. Uh, sexy partner yeah. in crime in my current band. She is the alto to my tenor. <laughs> nice. In, yeah, but in that's the current horn section that I'm in. Yeah, so somebody has to step up and take that, lead that leadership role. There's my dad, the Bishop hey. Jerry T. Hardison. Yeah, my yes, dad's here. here. Yeah, my brother. Shout out to my family. I love you guys. He says we'll oh, catch wow. the replay. Okay, okay, cool. Up, yeah, Matthew? yeah. So much yeah, family so support and love here. It's awesome. Yeah, it's awesome. And we do have a clip whenever you, whenever you want to go to it, because we were in yeah. sound check one day. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think D, our bass player, uh, started playing a groove. Uh, ironically, we, we were in the UK and he started playing the bass line to American Boy. And we all broke out into this um, impromptu jam sessions. Or would you would you like to share that clip with, with the audience? Can we play that now? Yeah. All right, let's get it.
Yeah. My hair was so short then. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> that was such good fun. I enjoyed it. That was one of my highlights. I love it when stuff like that just happens completely unplanned. Right, Nobody's right. kind of said, right, we're doing this. It just happened. And it was it, yeah. it was great. Loved it. And somebody happened to catch it on camera as well. Yeah, Brandon, was- Brandon recorded Brandon, that matter yeah. of fact. Yeah. So um and 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 aren't aren't sound checks some of the most fun times if you got a little bit yeah. of time? To just Definitely. run something right fast or somebody mm-hmm. play something and then everybody else just jumps. Yeah, Ken was in that clip too, uh, ladies and gentlemen. That was Ken yeah. playing uh, opposite saxophone from uh, Ellie in that clip. But yeah, that was that was a fun they time. A, and, I never saw a saxophone duel before. Yeah, <laughs> duel was saxophone. Ken started that kind of... <laughs> yeah. re- and I thought, I'm just kind of going to copy him, but vary it. Yeah. And then we ended up kind of bouncing and echoing it was just like he was leading me do you know what i mean i, I was yeah. Yeah. going off was of like his battle. energy on that it was battle yeah. saxon <laughs> right right yeah and you had a chance to play with us ellie over here in the states where you were here for a week when you came is that right i have been twice now and that is huge thanks to ken and his lovely wife stephanie who um so kindly extended the invitation to me and okay. you guys i didn't, I didn't realize family. it was twice okay i didn't realize yeah. it was twice i was thinking one was i asleep the second time <laughs> I, came once, I came once by myself and oh then and then you came the with your boys time I came with my boys yeah that's right okay because we all we all took me and rod uh, our our lead guitar player. We took our sons, and uh, you had your boys, and we all went to the bowling bounce and let the kids have oh, a, that warm See those kids yeah. playing together. It was lovely. <laughs> yeah, man, that's awesome. And, and what did you think about this this heat over here? You came over in the summer. Speaking oh, wow. of uh, oh, uh, famous, calling Ken Mister Summer, you yeah. came over yeah, in the summer, and you guys, it. you loved it. It wasn't too hot. Yeah, because we don't get it here. <laughs> oh <laughs> <So>, man. <laughs> So it was nice. Yeah, it made yeah. it really nice. I was trying to work on my tan, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ken and Stephanie are trying to get indoors for the air con. And they're like, oh, it's too hot out here. And I'm like, yeah, now I, I do remember. Just stay out here for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I remember when we were there, uh, it was around this time in, in 2018, or like the uh, early April, I think, maybe early to mid April. And we would still have to have a jacket, even though during the, the daytime you might be okay in some short sleeves or whatever, but nightfall in the yeah. morning, you still pretty much gotta have a jacket. Now, and we were watching one day I was in my room, there was it was at the Tour de France or something was going on, and the temperatures got up to about 70, 75, and people were being dehydrated that were participating in the in the mm-hmm. activity. And they and I was like, that's hot. I'm like, mm-hmm. you know, because <laughs> again. <laughs> Again, culture shock. I'm I'm used yeah. to this 95 and 100, and you know, yeah, you, and I'm you like, guys are used to a different kind of heart over there, and it's also, yeah. it's like, you know, it's it's not as, I don't know, it's kind of humid. Well, the humidity, know, it's, yeah, it's yeah. definitely humid, humid hot over here, and no, especially where we are, especially where we nice are in, in the southeast. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like we're gonna have to. You gotta plan another trip back sometime soon. Absolutely, yeah. I would love yeah, to and do I, that. And I know Ken's working on getting us back over there. Hopefully soon, at some point. I think we did have something kind of on the uh, on the horizon. Uh, I think before COVID became an issue in, in 2020, yeah. we had something, and they and they went back in 2019. I didn't make that trip, but hopefully soon we'll get a chance to to get back over there. You know, yeah, we got to get Ken to work on getting her back here too. Come on, Mister Ken, <laughs> make it happen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Nothing but support and encouragement and um, positivity from from uh, Ken and and the Chairman family throughout the whole absolutely. time I've known them. So, so big thanks to all of you for that. Yeah, yeah, Ken and Ken is a great guy. I will say this uh, mm-hmm. before we proceed. I don't want to put all of his business out there, but sometimes. <laughs> Please do. Several several times throughout the year. Uh, one time, one of those times being this past weekend, you know, after we played a gig and we're packing up and everything, and he comes around with our envelopes, he might oh. give you a little a little elbow nudge and say, "Hey, yeah. I put a little something extra in there for you guys this time," you know, oh, which is God. which is very thoughtful. He doesn't have to do it. I was telling him today, man. Thank you, you know, because you don't have to do that. But, you know, you really can't ask for a better band leader, someone being in a position of leadership to make sure he looks out 
for the rest of the guys. And that just that just kind of keeps us on point when we need to do what we what we need to do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Shout Absolutely. out to everybody guy. that's watching us while they're working too. I know Juan just ch- chimed in that he's working. He has a client now, so he has yes, to yes. get off and watch the replay. But he also wants to leave the phone number in case you needed any tra- hey, any travel arrangements. Hint, hint. Yeah, Juan. Any travel yeah. arrangement, hit up Juan. There's the number, 803-280-4727. Yeah, Juan vacation Velasquez. time is vacation, vacation time is approaching. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> sure. vacation time is approaching. So if you guys need to have a, uh, you know, someone plan your vacation out for yeah. you step by step, holler at them. We got or Praise and Faith season. Gospel Shop in here. We got all type of, if, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a business or a contact or a website you want to drop in our chat, feel free to do so. Yeah. Juan yes, might, Rhonda, might he certainly sc- does. Schedule us a trip across the pond so we can uh, play music <laughs> and DJ. We're going to have no shortcuts. <laughs> <laughs> and no shortcuts to UK version. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. you know? If you need any support bands, you know, my current. Yeah. Current band, we'd be up for that. Well, that's what I <laughs> yeah. wanted to talk about next. Tell us about your current band and uh, and what and what y'all are up to. Wow, thank you very much. So the band I'm with these days is uh, called Madison Avenue UK. Uh, we do soul and Motown, uh, mostly covers, but we do uh, we have got we've been working on an original song as well, which we're going to be gigging uh, soon as well. And there's ten of us, so we have three yeah. vocalists. Yeah, okay. three vocalists, two male, one female, and their mm-hmm. voices all complement one another. You know, they all blend together really nicely vocally. Awesome. Um, we have a three-piece horn section. So there's myself on tenor sax, there's uh, Cheryl on alto sax, and Charlotte on trombone. So we have all female. Uh, That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all girls horn section. Okay. Yeah. Mm. And, and of course, our back line, we have our keys, drums, bass, and, um, you know, they're just, um, and our drummer as well, Joe, mustn't forget him and his facial expressions when he's drumming, he's one of the people <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, musicians <laughs> and our facial say? expressions, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it shows passion, you know, these are all really wonderful musicians and we are like a family and I, I, I've been with these guys for like, I think five years now you know and I, I, they're, they're a great bunch and we've we have some some good fun together and we're you know we're really uh, we're gelling together now you know mm-hmm. it's a progression is it when you're in a band yeah. it takes time yeah to yeah all absolutely. Melt together well we're in, we're in a good place you know we're grooving nicely everybody's syncing together and yeah. voices blending nicely but i feel like you know touch wood things are going great for yeah. madison avenue that's great. That's great. And, and you know, COVID kind of slowed things down for musicians and rehearsing and playing yeah. consistently as well. So you figure, uh, you know, you we missed almost an entire year uh, as far as uh, 2020 going into 2021 was concerned. So even even with us, the chairman of the board, we're just now getting our stride fully right. back, you know, as far as our booking and being busy and things like that. It was we, a tough time, wasn't it? For, for you know, musicians, artists, and and um, mm-hmm. quite a few different disciplines. It just, like you say, it wiped out an entire year's worth of work, basically, mm-hmm. and plans and diary yep. commitment. And uh, you ha- we had to rebuild again. And mm-hmm. um, I guess with us being a 10 piece band as well, and the way it worked in the, here in the UK, I'm not sure if it was similar in, in the US, but the release mm-hmm. from lockdown was a progressive thing and we had a lot of social distancing yeah. in place. Yes, yes, so yes. made it harder for a large band like us to oh, fit absolutely. into venues, you yeah. know, with yeah. the appropriate distancing in place and so on. That's right. So it was a bit tougher for us due to our size to, to make that comeback than it was for other bands. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, we, we're getting there now, so, you know. Absolutely. Cool. And did you want to, did you want to put your, um, any of your contacts for your new, for your new band or your own personal, whether it be Facebook, website, Instagram, did you have any, any really contacts? My band can be found on Facebook under mm-hmm. Madison Avenue UK. Uh, also on Insta at Madison Avenue UK. Um, if you Google us, we also have a website and, um, right. And on YouTube, if you search Madison Avenue UK, you'll see our 2024 showreel. Nice. 
Madison, is that fully spelled out? The avenue part, is that fully spelled That's out? M-A-D-I-S-O-N. Oh, I see it. Oh, and A A V. Uh, a -V -E. Okay, yeah, got it. The whole word all okay. together. Got it. I'm following right now. Yeah. That's the one. That's the one. Does anyone have any questions for Miss Ellie Warren Wright while you, she's James. here today? Whether it be about music, whether it be about the saxophone, or whether it be about life in the UK. Well, while, <laughs> while we wait on that, I, I, I have Thanks, a question James. about the name. Uh, was there um, significance to the name Madison Avenue? I believe there was. And I was just, you know, it occurred to me that you might ask me this before. I, <laughs> it, the name was given to the band by a previous band member who's not, who, you know, oh, okay. was before I joined, you know. Yeah, yeah. But I do think there was kind of some, am I right in thinking that Madison Avenue is a street in, in New York where? It is. I think probably there, so. There's it is. famous. Yeah, yeah, it's a famous like shopping kind of um, upscale. It so it kind of represents upscale basically. Mm -hmm. But then I was okay. also thinking about Madison Avenue in Minneapolis, and I don't know if it had something to do with that as far as the mm -hmm. Minneapolis music scene there. But most likely it was the Madison Avenue New York version. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the New York reference. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Ellie, do you re do you recall what venue that was where we did the where we did the uh, the jam session and sound check? Which which venue was that? I think it was Sheffield. I think it was somewhere. Sheffield. I forget the name of the venue, but I think it was in Sheffield. Okay, yeah. okay. I, I know we had six six dates over those over those two weeks, but I do remember we landed landed in London. And and Stefan, am I saying his name correctly? Picked us up from the airport and everything. Mm -hmm. And we and our first uh, first performance was uh, London under the bridge. You know, That's I right. do remember that. While we're in London, we got. I'm sorry. Say that again. <laughs> Like the Chelsea football, well, soccer stadium. Yes, yeah. So the yeah. Chelsea football stadium was right across from the the venue. So we had a chance to walk over. Brandon and I uh, walked over and looked at the the stadium and everything. And we got to learn a little bit. We got to see the Eye of London and learned about the Beatles and when, where they rehearsed and things. Mm. So the whole two weeks was just rich in uh, music history. Well, what I do recall is just being surprised that. When we're playing our, our songs, whether it be uh, Tuesday or Give Me Just a Little More Time or Pay to the Piper, being that far from home and looking out into the audience and they're singing the the lyrics word for word, that was kind of, I, you know, it was a bit of a shocker to me because oh I didn't expect God. that. Oh, being I so far. Those. those are classic songs and to people who who love the, the genre, soul music in general. And, yeah. Yeah. you know, you'd be surprised how many people over here. That, there's been a couple of times I've been talking about things I've done in the past and I mentioned my trip to the States and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure if you, you would have heard of them, but Chairman and the Board. And they're like, yes, we know who they <laughs> yeah. are. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, 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 we, we were in the airport coming back, matter of fact, um, and we were checking in and everything. And uh, one of the security guys, you know, through conversation, uh, you found discovered that, we, you know, we were the chairman of the board and he was wanting the guys to start singing some songs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll we'll sing if it helps us get through this customs check a yeah, little quicker. <laughs> on demand. Yeah, so we it got was a good, comment good time. from uh, James good said time. he just sampled "Get Red" on your f on your Facebook page, and it took seconds to be hooked. He loved. Oh, it. so he just he just listened to it and sampled yeah. it that fast? Wow! Well, I, mean, I, I think he means he just sampled it. I mean, he just listened to it. Oh, oh I don't my think God. he actually. I'm thinking he's making it. music. See, I don't I think he sampled it. <laughs> I know, right? If he sampled it, we got to get Rhonda to represent him. Yeah, we got to clear it, Rhonda. <laughs> we got to all the it. components gotta, we need right here. <laughs> we, got, we got everybody here for you, James. <laughs> yeah, Heck yeah, good, good point, Rhonda. <laughs> Honestly, it seems that the UK peeps know about yeah. more of our music than we do, and they That's give what an I opportunity. Was earlier, yeah, yeah, and they give an opportunity for our legends uh, to 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 continue to perform. Even mm -hmm. I, in my whereabouts and comings and goings, I'm walk. You know, I did more walking over there than it than, than riding, because <laughs> we had a driver only at designated times. So we go in here, go in there, walk. We walk to the grocery store once, walk to do laundry, walk to maybe the gym. D and I to work out one day. Hey, that walking with a bag of laundry was a workout. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but oh, you know, you were asking me about uh, the British food just now. Sure. I have yeah, to yeah. say, when I came over there. You guys, uh, Ken took me to experience some southern 
food and I, yeah. I love that. It's oh, so nice. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. gravy and and other other kinds of food as well, fast food places that we don't have in the UK. Places right. like um, you know, where was it? What's that term? Waffle place. Are you the the, 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 the IHOP, <laughs> IHOP or Denny's? Right? Yeah, she like yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah the chicken nice. place. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I tried all these things and it, I loved it. Oh, yeah, because even when we were over there, uh, maybe lots of uh, is it shish kebabs? You know, the on the on the the the, the corner stores, you can get that stuff. Uh, they they had burger. I remember seeing Burger King. There was Pizza Hut. Uh, McDonald's had the kiosk and like to pay at the thing before they was it was in the states. Like you know, you're the the self checkout McDonald's. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was so impressed with with the U.S. McDonald's because your sizes are bigger than ours. Oh, yeah, and I remember them yeah. going, "Mom, Mom, they've got like ten nuggets." <laughs> Yeah, 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 and 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 I literally our sizes are probably bigger bigger than you guys, you know. And but that's what I say. So I, that even having walking, we did more walking, which was good, you know. And then walking to do laundry on an off day, it was just more simple type type living in, in, in compared to the everyday hustle and bustle of what we do here, you know. So I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, are there any questions for Ellie? Did anybody have anything? No, I don't think so. Uh, Ken Knox says that Ellie loved the peach cobbler. Oh, peach cobbler. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he took her to the hood. He took Ellie to the hood. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To, is that where you, he took you to the, the IHOP? Was in the hood? <laughs> yeah, that's right. So when it, Ken picked me up from the airport, we stopped at an IHOP because, you know, we were hungry and I'd been yeah. flying for a long time. And uh, yeah. when I got out of the car, bearing in mind this is my first steps into, yeah. you know, <laughs> under the soil of the Carolinas, he goes, yeah. we in the hood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That sounds like something kid would yeah. say. <laughs> You've only seen it on television. This is the real thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, you have your rough cool. parts here and there everywhere, especially near the airport when you come out from the, mm-hmm. the I guess, the circumference of the, that the is, airport. That it's is gonna be the some, hood. <laughs> it's gonna be some hood. Yeah, the just gotta, just gotta, is the hood. <laughs> gotta move carefully. Gotta move carefully. Well, did we did we cover everything, Ellie? Is there anything? Did you want did you want to get into uh the singing or the, the piano playing? Or you just wanted to touch oh, on that lightly? So obviously mainly it's uh, I play play sax. That's the main of focus of my musical endeavors. But I have been getting a bit braver with the singing in the last couple of years. So I've always enjoyed singing, but never been mm-hmm. brave enough to do it publicly until a couple of years ago, a particularly supportive friend of mine was quite encouraging, and she's she's a, sings herself, and she's you know mm. you can do this, you absolutely. Know? And, and it, again, it was the same as with the sax that I was talking about. It was about taking that step. You might be scared, yeah. you might be constantly <laughs> questioning yourself, but you right. have to do it in order to. And then once you've done it, you think actually, I really enjoyed that. That was good, and people are enjoying this. People mm-hmm. are liking this, so I'm, I'm yeah. going to try it again, and so on and so yeah. on. Yeah. So um, that's that's a work in progress, and I'm, I'm okay. just getting a bit braver and more confident now with my. Well, go ahead yeah. and sing singing. something for us now. Oh, he's oh, going to put you on the spot. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> unless you want to, unless you want to, unless you want to, we won't turn you down. <laughs> oh my gosh! I think. Uh, oh no! I think I'll leave that one for just now. Yeah. But um, I'll perhaps share Miranda. with you some of my. My, uh, okay. my singing stuff in future. Yeah. Oh yeah, this doesn't have to be the only only time. Now, did you want to give out your? Did you give out your personal um, socials as well as the band? Did you already do that, or would you like oh, to do yeah. so as well? Um, yeah, you're welcome to follow me on Insta if you want to. It's Ellie Warren. That's E L L I W A R R E N. If anyone wants to, there are quite a lot of shameless selfies on there. I will admit. <laughs> it's <laughs> and, okay. Uh, Stuff to do with saxophones and cats. Yeah, <laughs> but, awesome, know. awesome. But yes, that's yeah. me if you like to. Yeah. Oh, says, yes. Ellie. Oh, wait. Mm-hmm. What did he say again? Message. Yeah. So, okay. So uh, when we were in uh, Butlins with you guys in Skegness in the UK, um, a guy called Billy Ocean was performing. Mm-hmm. The guy mm-hmm. who said Caribbean Queen. Yeah, yeah. Caribbean Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Queen. Yes. <laughs> His saxophonist, who recorded with him, who recorded the sax solos on those tracks, mm-hmm. 
I had I had managed to stalk him on Facebook. Basically, I added <laughs> him as a Facebook friend, and he nice. accepted. Me. I was thrilled. And I was uh, at Butlins with you guys at watching Billy Ocean perform, and I did a Facebook live, and this oh, wow. guy tuned in and watched uh, watched Billy Ocean and and the uh, saxophonist performing what was originally his solo in that oh, moment. Wow, that was pretty, wow that's awesome. Pretty cool. He, yeah, he told me the story. And, you know, that's he was cool. just a, a guy that had got invited to do some session work and it, mm-hmm. it all went mm-hmm. from there, you know, for him. And yeah. yeah, that was it. That's it. Oppor- having, an, having an opportunity and then from one opportunity, you can turn that into your next opportunity. Again, you got to just stay on the scene, you know, <laughs> and that's the main thing when you're yeah, trying to no, grow absolutely. in with whatever industry that you're in. And before we let you go, say there is somebody in the audience who is on the fence and they're like, huh, I, I really would like to do, you know, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, nothing specific, but they may, you know, they, they're like, you know, what, what what's my next step? What do I, what should I do, you know, in order to get started? Just, I guess, surround yourself with positivity, people, good friends like these, like, like you guys, supportive, ah, be brave, <laughs> take that step. I know it can be scary. Believe me, I've, I have been nervous. I have been shaken and scared with some of the things tried. But if you take that step, you will feel great for it. And it will, it will get better from there and you'll get braver and more confident. And, you know, and surround yourself with good folks who, who will love and support you and encourage you on your way. Just like, just like I've had the fortune of having in my life, you know, that's, Absolutely. that's the advice. I'm now that's, that's perfect. Per- and believe in yourself. Yes, first and foremost, believe in yourself because you can't expect others to believe in you if you don't even believe in yourself to begin with, you know? So that's great, great words, great words. Famous, you got anything before we get out of here? No, that was great. I just want to please invite everybody to share this. And if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, uh, yes. Facebook is going to be making some changes very soon, and we fear that the change will not be good for streaming for into streaming oh. into private Facebook groups. So luckily, we also stream YouTube. into other places. We stream into YouTube, we stream into Twitch, but streaming into a Facebook group may not be an option within the next mm. month or so. So head over to that yeah. YouTube, hit the subscribe so you can be notified when we're going to be live. Same schedule, of course. But just so I get mm-hmm. the YouTube numbers up. I will be home this Same weekend. Thing. No wedding. Oh, actually, really? this weekend. So good thing is, since that wedding got canceled, Emily's grandmother's uh-huh. 100th birthday party is on Saturday. Oh, and happy birthday to her. she thought she wasn't going to be able to go because I was going to be out and she was going to have the kids and all that. So now she can attend and be, and be yeah. with the family for her grandmother's 100th birthday since <clears throat> I'm going to be home. So shout out to her. Things work okay, out Okay, cool. <laughs> Yeah, and I I just want to say, oh yeah, I, see I'm about see Robin. Let me get into my announcements here. Robin's <laughs> <course>. rushing me. <laughs> so Thursday, Brandon Stevens and I rep, will be representing uh, Mellow Groove here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, at Courts Cooks and Books with our good friend uh, Chef Shanali and Min, and uh, Mindy over at Courts Cooks and Books. Uh, Friday, the chairman of the board will be traveling to Vinton, Virginia. We'll be at Rosie's Casino. Uh, Friday night, that's at 8 o'clock. And then Saturday, Robin, (laughs) chairman of the board, will be in Kannapolis, North Carolina, at the Swanee Theater. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe that's at 8 o'clock, too. If you want to double-check that, just go to www.thechairmanoftheboard. Um, and our Thursday gig with Mellow Groove is 5.30 at Courts Cooks and Books. It's an early early uh, event, 5.30 to 8.30. Come get you something good to eat, a glass of wine, and read a book. It's a bookstore, hey. wine, and restaurant, you know? Yay. Hey, yeah. that's Swanee Theater. That's a nice place, man. I actually, I met the owners, the people that own that place. We might, since I'm free Saturday night, keep my fingers crossed. Come on crossed. out. I'm going to keep my fingers you crossed. Might, you, let me let crossed. me know as early as possible. See if I can yeah. leave that back door open for you. <laughs> yeah, hey, yo, I, appreciate, hey, yo. <laughs> I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah. Let's see what's going I'll on. Let you, I'll let you carry in a bag or something, you know? Yeah, I'm with the bag. <laughs> 
the, well, ladies, and, ladies, yeah, anytime, man. You look out for me, I look out for you. Ladies and gentlemen, sure. one more time, we want to thank Miss Ellie Warren Wright for yes, joining us today, absolutely. all the way across the pond. Thank you for having me. It's been an yeah. absolute pleasure. Guys, over in the UK, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Shout out before we get out of here, shout out to our Earth, Wind, and Fire family, shout out to our Honeycomb family, the chairman of the board family, Mellow Groove executives, uh, Smooth Sales, Touch of Faith, Our Power Community. All you guys, we thank you so much. Thank you, YouTube, thank you, Instagram, thank you, Twitch, thank you, uh, Spotify, Apple Music. Where else can we be found? Famous Facebook. All, those, all of these all places. places. You guys got no places. excuse for not being a part of the community. You can find us That's anywhere. Right. You probably, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you probably open up your look at out your window. We right there. <laughs> yeah, look over your shoulders, honey. Look yes, over Robin. Your shoulder, Hopefully, honey. I may be there Saturday, Robin. We'll see. <clears throat> yeah. Don't hold your breath though, Robin, because he, right? <laughs> he, he takes requests and don't play them. <laughs> 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 yeah. All hey, right. peace and love, everybody. Ellie, stay on the line. And